action. <laughs> And this is a picture of me trying to lick my elbow. Hey. We all know bad breath doesn't exactly endear you to people, but is it possible that your breath can say even more about you? Recently, scientists have made huge advances towards being able to detect diseases from breath. But how accurate is this? Can you learn to do it yourself? And what the hell is an electronic nose? What does your breath say about you? <laughs> so what's the latest science on stinky breath? Well, we've known bacteria in your mouth can play a key role for a while now. What's new is the discovery of just how diverse that bacteria is. Recently, geneticists contributing to the Human Microbiome Project that they've identified over a thousand species that commonly inhabit our mouths. At this very moment, it's likely that you have somewhere between 100 to 200 species of bacteria partying in your pie hole. It's still early days, but increasingly research seems to be showing that carpet bombing all bacteria from your mouth might not help. Instead, the kick will be to cultivating the right kind of microbes, or at least a balance. So what can you do? One simple thing is to try breathing through your nose as much as possible to stop your mouth from drying out. It's believed saliva might be your mouth's natural way of balancing out the good and the bad. But what about the whole disease detection thing I mentioned earlier? As far back as Hippocrates, doctors have been sniffing people's breath in an attempt to diagnose illness. You can try it yourself. So if you notice your breath smelling a bit fishy, but you haven't eaten any fish, you might have liver failure. Fruity acetone breath, but you haven't had fruit or nail polish remover? Could be diabetes. Freshly baked bread breath, but you're a gluten hater? You may be coming down with typhoid fever. Ammonia smell, but you've taken a break from sipping on ammonia? It might be kidney disease. Please note that this does not constitute medical advice. If you have any concerns about these conditions, see a doctor. Like, like a legit doctor. As the disclaimer guy said, self-testing obviously isn't a particularly scientific way to go about things. Luckily, we now have finely tuned instruments called electronic noses. Yes, that's really their name. Along with chromatography and mass spectrometry tests, they can detect your breast chemical component with remarkable accuracy. Scientists are already working on tracking breath biomarkers for Parkinson's disease, bacterial infections and cystic fibrosis, cancer, diabetes, and other conditions. And at UTS, Dr. Nishin Nisidi is working on what would be the smallest sensor for detecting diseases using a dog's nose for inspiration. How is your research inspired by a dog's nose? Human nose is not a very strong nose, but dog's nose is very, very strong. If someone is under stress or pressure, or if someone is pregnant, even cancer, dogs can smell it. But human nose is not strong enough. Dogs have 300 million olfactory receptor cells, but human only has five million. Why would it be better to detect diseases via someone's breath? If something is wrong in your body, the chemistry of your body change. And that's why we say that you smell differently. So you smell differently, although our nose is not strong enough to detect it. But because of that chemistry change, something is producing in your body. Let's call it biomarker. That biomarker is produced in your body just because of that disease. And the biomarkers, the first place that they can find to come out of your body is breath. So if we detect the disease through the human breath, we call it early detection, early stage detection. And we believe that if I detect it early in human breath, it's not detectable in blood yet. And that's why the chance of being recovered is significantly higher compared to the blood test. There are plenty more secrets on your breath waiting for science to unlock. In the meantime, a good old fashioned sniff of someone's breath can still tell you plenty about them. Smell you later. Disease detection. Disease detection. <laughs>